And in new at six, relief for two families more than 40 years after two brutal murders. Authorities say they finally have their man. Good evening, everyone. I'm Pat Harvey. A 68 year old Oxnard man was arrested and is in court today for the murders of two young women in 1981. KCAL News reporter Rachel Kim tells us how he was finally tracked down so many years later. This suspect has been hiding in plain sight for over 40 years. Ventura County authorities say 68 year old Tony Garcia can no longer hide. Thursday afternoon, the Oxnard man went before a judge for the first time since his arrest on Tuesday. We couldn't see his face clearly, but prosecutors say this is the face of the man charged with the murders of two women in 1981. The cause of death as strangulation. In January of 1981, the body of a then 20 year old Rachel Zendejas was found in a carport across the street from her Camarillo apartment complex. We spoke with her older brother back in 2011. Everybody's very angry. Mm -hmm. It's just nobody's really recovered. Investigators told us at the time the single mom of two daughters and a friend had gone out to Huntington's nightclub in Oxnard. Authorities believe she was attacked as she got out of her car after dropping off the babysitter. And this is right where she was laying, right in this spot right here. Sheriff's detectives worked the case extensively, but it soon became cold. The Ventura County Forensic Laboratory later obtained the suspect's DNA profile from Zendejas' body and entered it into CODIS, a federal DNA database of convicted offenders. Unfortunately, there were no hits. But in 2004, they discovered a link between the DNA profile of Zendejas' killer and the suspect in Lisa Gondek's homicide. The Ventura County Medical Examiner the next day ruled Lisa's cause of death is being that of strangulation and suffocation. Investigators believe the 21 year old Oxnard woman was killed by the same man after visiting Huntington's nightclub in December of 1981. In December of 2019, investigators from the Ventura County Cold Case Unit began using investigative te techniques, including that of genetic genealogy. Later developed leads that identified the suspect as Tony Garcia. DNA analysis later confirmed that Tony is a suspect in both homicides. Sheriff Fryhoff said Garcia was assigned to Naval Base Point Magoo and later settled in Ventura County after he left the service. He worked jobs as a karate instructor and carpenter. Authorities wouldn't go into details about their evidence or investigation, saying it will all come out during trial. Garcia's lawyer said he had no comment on behalf of his client, but he wanted to say this. The allegations that are made here uh, are horrific. And we do understand that. Um, so our sympathies to the family, to the parents and siblings, and to the community. Garcia's arraignment was continued, and the judge ordered no bail for now. He'll be back in court in two weeks. Meanwhile, prosecutors say this is an ongoing investigation. They're looking for more witnesses, victims, anything that may lead to additional charges. After more than four decades, the long arm of the law has brought justice to the Gondak and Zendaya's families. Rachel Kim, KCAL News.